Welcome back to another video. My name is Sarika and if you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are still on our journey to 500 subscribers. We are so close and I'm so happy. Um, if you're returning, thank you for coming back and watching another video. Today is an exciting video. Like I've been looking forward to recording this video for months. I've been planning it since I actually started my YouTube channel. Um, as you would have seen in a couple videos ago, I did a facial, um, like my very first facial, and then you would have seen like in my maintenance vlog, I also did another facial. Today I am going to be doing microneedling and I'm gonna be starting my microneedling like journey um, for the next couple of months. So I thought I would bring you along. Um, today's pretty much going to kind of define what microneedling is, what are the benefits. Um, I'm gonna show you how my skin looks before and after the microneedling sessions. I'm gonna talk about post-care. I'm gonna talk about microneedling for people with darker skin tones like me um, and the cost and the benefits, as I said earlier. So let's get into it. So I have my computer here. I'm drinking my tea currently before my first appointment. Okay, so I have the definition of microneedling kind of up here on my computer. I didn't wanna get it wrong when I was describing essentially what it is um, but it's a cosmetic procedure essentially that involves pricking the skin with tiny sterilized needles um, and then it kind of leaves small wounds in your skin and then it will cause your body to make more collagen and elastin which heal your skin and help you to, to kind of look younger and your, your skin um, looks more rejuvenated um, and it kind of addresses some of the issues that you might have on your skin so it's very beneficial for people who suffer from acne um, dark spots, um, scars, sun damage, wrinkles, and fine lines. Um, so for me, I have, you know, I have some dark spots on my face, which is kind of the main point or thing that I want to address about my skin. I did say that 2022 was a year that I was going to dedicate to kind of working on my skin and getting it to a point where I feel really confident about it. Um, so you can kind of see my skin right now. I have no makeup on or anything. Um, I also got a tan because I went on a camping trip with my students for three days. Hey guys, um, this is editing Janelle here. I was listening to the audio and at some parts you can't even hear anything. So all I was saying at this part is that my aesthetician pretty much suggested that I do microneedling to address some of the concerns that I have with my skin, the main one being dark spots. So the next thing I wanted to mention is that for microneedling to have the optimal or intended results, you definitely need to do more than one session. It's usually recommended that you do at least three to four to kind of see the results that you want to have so i thought for this video i would just show you my first um session and the re you know the results that i had after the session and i'll show you the day-to-day -day updates of my post procedure um yeah so post microneedling um i'll show you how my face looks like right after and a couple days after um, i can expect like some redness um, because there are literal wounds in my skin um, some gritting or texture on my skin, um, even some discoloration. So I'm excited to kind of show you what my face looks like right after the procedure and a couple days after. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was microneedling on people with darker skin. That was something I was worried about. I didn't know if I needed to be worried about it, but I will talk about it after. Um, in terms of booking, like your sessions since you have to do multiple it's suggested that you wait like six to seven weeks between each session so i'm thinking today i'll do my first one and then book my second one but yeah i just hope that you enjoy watching the whole journey i love anything skincare i'm very obsessed now i'm really getting into skincare um and i'm very determined to get my skin to a point where i feel super confident with it so i hope you enjoy and i will see you at my spa Into my brown eyes, see my little eyes give me a switch. 
eyes You never know the devil in a disguise So why don't you stand up, baby, and Tell me, tell me, tell me, do you want me on top? So let me show you, show you, show you I don't need to back it up Don't wanna hold you, hold you, so just speak you in half in my heart I just wanna... Hey guys, it's almost like 15 minutes after she put the numbing cream on Like, I can't feel like right here So... It's doing its job. When you trust in your honor, you please do the same on your part. Be on it. You want it. not clicking record i did not click record anyway so as you can see my face looks very red okay so a couple of things to go through so first thing is like how long was the whole procedure when they put the numbing cream on that took about 15 minutes and then the actual microneedling pr like procedure took about tw 20 minutes um so i was there for about an hour even if like I wasn't actually doing every, like yeah. anything for the whole hour, but I was there for an hour. Yes. Um, so that's how long it took. In terms of, I did ask about the procedure for darker skin tones, and they said that it would it works fine for darker skin tones because it doesn't require laser. So once you start doing laser treatments, that's when um, you have to be more cognizant or aware of. The, the level, I guess, of laser treatment that you're doing because you have darker skin, um, but microneedling is fine and safe for people who have darker skin, so that's good. Um, in terms of like post-care, um, the my esthetician said I pretty much cannot be in any situation where I would sweat, so no hot showers, no saunas, no jacuzzis. If I go outside, I have to wear a hat. So when I'm walking low key, I'll need to wear a hat to kind of shield my face from the sun. Um, the only thing that I can use on my face is hyaluronic acid. So I got some from my, my spa and this is pretty much hydrating the skin um, and also cooling it down because your skin does kind of feel like you have like a sunburn, like your, your skin kind of mildly burns. Um, so that's kind of the post care. I can't, do my regular skin routine for a couple of days um and i think that is everything that she said i need to do post procedure in terms of how how many treatments i did mention earlier that minimum three um and you want to kind of space them out four to six weeks between sessions so i booked my next one for one month from now so yeah i'm very excited um, for the next couple of days, I'm going to be showing you like what my, my skin looks like over each day. So you can kind of see the end result. So this is, I did do a close up of like how my skin looked right after I, like I got home. Um, and then I guess the last thing in terms of the last two things I wanted to talk about in terms of the procedure would be the price and the pain level. So in terms of pain, because you have the numbing cream on, it's really not painful at all. I was a little nervous that it was gonna like literally feel like needles sticking into my skin, but it really feels like someone's just gently scraping something off of your skin. I would kind of give it a two out of 10 if that much. It's really not painful at all. So you don't really need to worry about the pain if that's something you're you know nervous about. And then the last thing is price. So my spa charges $275 per session. Um, so that kind of gives you 
idea of kind of where your your you know what you're going to be paying for ni microneedling i think that's a pretty standard price like in canadian dollars you're probably paying within the 200s or 300 dollars range okay so i will be kind of documenting how my skin looks day to day i'll also show you me like applying the hyaluronic acid um and kind of giving you updates about how my face feels over the time so see you soon a few hours later baby you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place because the love you give you can't be replaced so go now So one day after I've done my microneedling, that's how my face is looking right now. The redness is almost gone. It's red. It's redder on this side than this side. Um, there is some texture, as you can see, like some gritting or roughness there. I just finished showering, as you can see by my shower cap. I changed though, um, and I didn't wash my face, which was very strange because I feel gross, and washing my face is part of my morning routine so so um today is the last day that i like don't have i can't wash my face so i'm going to just apply the hyaluronic acid in terms of like how it feels right now it feels like normal um there's the burning has stopped the feeling of like having a sunburn is gone even though i did tan a lot um from my trip i don't feel like that heat that i felt yesterday after i finished so you can just watch me put on my hyaluronic acid and then continue to document. My money, my body, now your own. my face is looking now I don't know where these pimples are coming from um, but there's no more redness no more burning so I guess by the end of the week we'll kind of see hoping these pimples go away yeah
do not mind my five lashes hanging on for their life so it's been about a week now since i got the microneedling this is how my face looks this pimple like left a little scar but you can let me know if you feel like you see a difference i feel like i see a slight difference um but i feel like i need to do the full regimen so my three treatments before i actually get the results that i want um so this is kind of like the first step to that so at this point i do recommend microneedling um, based on the pain level kind of like the healing time the healing process it's not very high maintenance it's not painful at all in time in terms of results um i feel like i can see slight results but again i want to see what it looks like after i do the three treatments so thank you for watching another video and i will see you in the next one